All right, I want to talk about the expected value of a product. The expected value of two random variables, x and y, equals the expected value of x times the expected value y if x and y are independent. Okay, this is a really important um, thing you need to keep in mind when you're trying to uh, use this property. Okay, um, so let's, first off, let's remember what does independence mean. Um, if you have a uh, discrete random variables x and y, your probability mass function um, for x and y can be written as the product of um, the marginal um, mass functions. So the joint probability mass function is the marginal distribution of x times the marginal distribution of y. Uh, if you have a continuous uh, random variables x and y, same thing, except now it's um, your probability density functions, and it's the product of their marginals, okay? Um, so that's what independence means. Um, and so let's go ahead and use that to show this is true. Um, so the expected value of x and y would be equal to, um, we, we'll show it for both continuous and discrete, but let's start with uh, discrete, the discrete case. So we would sum over x and we would sum over y if x and y are discrete. Um, we would have x times y times the probability mass function, or the joint probability mass function, okay? Um, and if we have independence, then this joint distribution can be written um, oops, as the product of the marginals, okay? Um, and then I can basically use my proper properties of sum and I can pull out the x and um, I'll pull out basically anything that doesn't have to do with y and I'll have that basically pull them out of the sum for y. And then I'll be left with y times the um, probability mass function of y. And then so once you're there, you say, oh, okay, so this is the expected value of x and this is the expected value of y. Okay, oops, let me write y there. Okay, same thing is true when you have um, continuous random variables instead of sums, you have integrals, but same idea. So we integrate over x, we integrate over y, we have x times y, um, and then we have our joint distribution function, um, dy dx. Okay, and then I can rewrite this as the product of the marginals. Okay, uh, dx, dy, or uh, um, f of x times f of y, and then dy, dx. Okay, and then I can pull out my x um, and basically pull it out of the integral of y since it doesn't have anything to do with y. And I get x f of x dx and then um, y uh, integrate over y f of y dy which is exactly what the expected value of x is and times the expected value of y okay um, so remember you do you need this uh, independence in order for this to work um, so generally, you cannot um, you you cannot assume that this is true um, when you do not have independence. Um, you cannot just take the expected value of x times the expected value of y um, if you do not have independence. 